Hello there. So today uh, we're going to be talking about how to use gyroscope in order to aim in first person or third person games as you can see in the um, in this screen at the moment. So let's go ahead and let's jump into how to create that. So first of all, I'm using the first person example map, first person character and um, the first person game mode as you can see here. You're gonna probably have this if uh, when you are starting a new project you just select the first person uh, template you will be having all of this all together so um, in order to start let's go ahead in our first person character um, I've already had it here so I've changed a lot of stuff in here well the basics are really really easy to uh, accomplish so if you come here in the stick input in your own in your own first person character you'll have input axis turn rate you don't have this you're um, you're definitely gonna have it like this so what I've did I've just added a um, an add node well the first thing you have to do is to go ahead and get player controller and then from that you can just type in motion and it will give you all the nodes that are related to the motion so get input motion state and then you what we're right now what we're using is called rotation rate x so rotation rate right click uh, split nodes and then x is gonna go into the yaw and y is gonna go into the pitch To make things easier, what I've done is multiplying it by a variable. I mean, it was like the most logical thing to do. Multiply is like just come here, type star, float by multiply float, and then multiply it by a variable. If you don't know how to create a value, you can do it by here, and then you can just change a variable type to float. Then you can do it two ways you can add the value you are getting from the motion state to the value that you are getting from uh, changing the movement of the joystick in the screen uh, you can add them together or you can just go ahead and hook it up in you can add another controller your input and then you can just hook it up like here and then it, have the event to come here so this is the first uh, this is the next part that I have to talk about it's all based on event tick since when you change the rotation of the joystick it will trigger an event doesn't do that in the motion state so if the motion says changing because it's always changing and it can't really um, check it out all the time it's costly so what we're gonna do, we have to use an event tick. These two are for debugging that I'm gonna explain in a bit, but you can have an event tick and then use a sequence because we have to both use uh, add control a yaw input and then pitch input. And the first one goes to the yaw, the second one goes to the pitch and so on. So this is what we're gonna have in here. Uh, I told you we are going to have something for debugging this is for debugging this is just an X we are setting the variable called rot X which I've created here it's a float variable rot X is zero uh, the default value is zero and then we are setting the rot Y that's it so if you are using Unreal Engine 4.20 7.2 what you're gonna do it it will it won't work at first but what you're gonna do is go to the Android in your project settings edit project settings Android and then come into the input this one's not checked by default you need to have this one checked uh, it's called hello IMU sampling as you can see hello's uh, accelerometer, magnometer, 
and gyroscope event handling disabling may improve performance we don't i mean we have to use the gyroscope right so we don't really care about the performance it's gonna cost for us <coughs> and it's gonna work just like that um the gyro sensitivity should be a value if you are adding these two together this one base turn rate is the default value it's 45 the gyro sensitivity however is going to be a value between 0 I mean not 0 0 0.01 and 1 the default value I set for is 0 0.5 and then I've created a widget right click use interface widget blueprint and then I've come here in the first person character this is just for debugging I'm only using this for debugging you, you don't really need to have this one because you know there are devices that don't support gyroscope and there are devices that do support gyroscope but the gyroscope on Unreal Engine 4 doesn't work on them which is weird they sh it should work on them but they only give you the value of zero for these two so this is what why we're using these two so I've created a hard widget which is what I've called my widget you can just right click create widgets and then add that view, view, uh, viewport add to viewport then let's go ahead there and there we have a text block we can just drag them out in here um, I've changed the anchor point to this then this is just a slider you can just drag it in here this is just a text this is just a text with the anchor point uh, stuck to this one uh, just a bot button this one and then a text on it and a text make sure to uh, call the text something and check this one out is variable this is really important so we come here uh, on value changed so what we're gonna do this is like a debugging further on you will have to have this thing in your graphics settings or control settings or whatever but this is the sensitivity that you're going to use in here as I told you this should be exposed to the um, to the user so they can change the sensitivity because some people might get a headache a very bad headache some people might not so it depends on them so on value changed we can just go ahead and cast to first person character this one and then for the object we have to get player character get player character and then um, we need to change the gyro sensitivity set gyro sensitivity this is the uh, <coughs> variable we've created here and the value will be this one uh, the mean value should be like 1 to uh, 0 0.01 to 1 um, and the default value should be 0 0.5 okay so this one all our variables remember so what I'm going to do with that is first of all we have to set the first person character to a variable a character variable so we just cast into it and then right click promote to variable so we don't really need to cast to first person character all the time we could just get rid of this as well it doesn't really matter so this is just a debug for you uh, you don't really need to have this here if the system just works for you this is something I wanted to have done in my settings because as I told you there are devices that don't support it so the gyroscope setting should not be exposed to them because they don't have it they can't really use it and they will just come back to you um, saying that this feature doesn't work on my device please fix it and you can't fix it because it's not your problem it's their own devices problem so it 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 may sound better if you just get rid of the op uh, option for them if they their, their device doesn't support them okay so this is like a gyro test button i have in here so if you click on the button 
and on pressed you can set uh, use a set timer by event the time should be something like this and you can wait for like two seconds so the timer can get enough information about it this is the first person character variable we've created here and then we've as, as you remember we've created these two here two variables for debugging so we then get rot x and rot y and then multiply them by 10 but because the value they're going to give you is really small you can't really notice it and then you can just use an equal float if they are equal to zero and actually we are using a nor node you can use a an or boolean and then reverse these two or you can use a nor and then do it like this this is the event for the set timer by event it just makes sure every time a value comes in it just makes sure to set a value called gyro support in here we've created a boolean value in here gyro support and then we are going to wait for two seconds for this timer um, to grab enough information and then we are going to clear it clear and invalidate time timer by handle then we are going to be using this value we've created and we've fed enough information to it if the device is supporting gyro then this text here will show us that the device is supporting gyro if not it's not supported it's as simple as that uh, and the event tick is for these two. It just gives us the rot x and rot y and multiplies them by 10. And then it will just set text to whatever value we have as rot x and rot y. It's not, nothing specific. Uh, and that's that. The most important part was to use this code in here and just hook it up into these two. And in project settings, hello IMEI, sa IMU sampling. Other things are just extra stuff. I try to make it really, really complete. And that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit that like button. Cheers.